So, update on Mr. Ibu's illness. The truth is, the condition is not getting any better. It's becoming worse and worse. And worse. On September 9, 2023, the wife of Nollywood actor John Okafor, better known as Mr. Ibu, shared a video on her Instagram. In the video, Stella Maris bitterly cried and sang a sorrowful song about how no weapon formed against her shall prosper because God holds the key to her life. She captioned the video, Current Situation. Several fans of Mr. Ibu and celebrity colleagues started to show concern, asking her what was going on. Shortly after, the video was deleted. Yours the key to your life. When sickness and trouble seems to take your soul away, he owes the key to your life. It happened that Mr. Ibu fell sick again and things are getting bad. In a video shared on his Instagram page, he revealed that he has been on admission for several weeks and is fighting for his life. The medical doctors have informed him that if they exhaust their current options, they might have to amputate his leg. In the video, he pleaded with Nigerians to pray for him and requested financial support. He shared his bank account details for those willing to assist him financially. Hello, my name is John Ikesko Gafo. Mr. Ibu, I have been down for so, 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 so many weeks. All I'm hoping is your prayers and assistance. I've been in the hospital since I speak to you. I'm still lying down in the hospital. The medical director of this hospital said the, that the best solution is in case his new idea didn't work, the best idea is to cut off my leg. Just see me. If they cut off my leg, where will I go to? Where will I go to? Where, where do I go from here? Please, please, be on the prayers for me. Talk to God Almighty. I don't want my leg to be cut up. Please, thank you so much. God bless you. His daughter also addressed the audience, stating that they have been doing everything possible to help her father's condition. However, despite their efforts, his health is not improving and they have exhausted all their resources. She emotionally appealed to anyone willing to assist in flying him abroad for better medical care. His wife also pleaded with Nigerians to kindly come to her husband's aid. After Tunde had not posted the heartbreaking video and asked people to assist as much as possible, Paul Okoye of Peace Square replied with the caption, We are on it with David O. Other celebrities, including Obi Kubana, Kora Obidi, Sidney Tolka, also reacted to the video. There is a lot of drama surrounding Mr. Ibu's health condition, which has caused concern among Nigerians, celebrities, and AGM. Additionally, Very Dark Man has called out Nollywood celebrities, while Reno Omokri shamed Peter Obi for not helping the actor. Let's take a closer look at how this situation is being handled. Please, I am begging you people. My husband needs your help right now. He's been down. He's in pains. He has been crying. Please, come to help him. You need to help him now. He needs you people right now. As a wife, you know, because of the children, because of people around him. Please, my people, please come and help us. AGN is not a charitable organization. It is not a bank. It is not a hospital. Hello, guys. It's Tico here for African Glitz. Nigerian comic movie actor John Okafor, popularly known as Mr. Ibu, has once again reached out to his fans on social media, expressing his pain and agony over his deteriorating health. Mr. Ibu, who has been struggling with health challenges for several years, is confined to a hospital bed as his condition has worsened. He took to his official Instagram page to appeal to well-meaning Nigerians for assistance as he faces the possibility of undergoing amputation. The famous actor who appeared to be on the verge of tears expressed that he doesn't want to lose his leg because he wouldn't know how to cope with such a loss. In addition, Mr. Ibu's adopted daughter, Jasmine, stated that he requires significant support, both financially and spiritually. She explained that their family initially believed they could handle his illness on his own and she has been personally covering the expenses, but they now realize they need outside assistance. 
On October 17, 2023, his family celebrated his birthday while he lay in a hospital bed. The comedian appeared very ill with swollen legs. He remained unresponsive despite his family's efforts to lift his spirits with singing and jokes. Dear Nigerians, first of all, good day from wherever you're watching this video. We want to appeal that um, at this point, as a family, we want to appeal that people should come to Daddy's aid and rescue. So for the past two weeks, Daddy has been very down. We took him to the hospital. Personally, I've been sorting out the bills, thinking it's something I can do alone. Mommy has been at the hospital for like two weeks now. We've been doing everything humanly possible to make sure that he gets back on his feet. You know, the family, we, we thought it's something we can actually do. We thought we could sort it out on our own and he'll be fine. But he's not getting better. Some days it looks like it's better. The other days it looks like it's getting worse. They want to refer us to another hospital because it's not getting better. And we are at one of the best private hospitals in Lagos. So we are appealing that if there are any individuals or any organization that can at least fly daddy to abroad to get a better treatment, because this is not the first time this daddy is down like this. Daddy has been down, up, down, or back on his feet, down again. So if he's not getting better here in one of the best private hospitals in Lagos, I think we need people that will come together, if possible, fly him abroad so that he can get better treatment. As a father, he has been fighting for himself. Like, he's been fighting. He wants to live. He wants to fight this. He has been trying to be strong. This is the bill they just gave us from the hospital. We have been the ones sorting. I personally have been the ones sorting out this bill. But I'm trained financially. I can't do it alone. I can't do it alone. Please, I'm calling out for help. Shortly after the video went viral, Reno Omokri called out Peter Obi, reminding Nigerians that Mr. Igbo endorsed Peter Obi's candidacy during the 2023 elections, demanding he comes out and supports Mr. Ibu. I sympathize with John Ikechuku Okafo, Mr. Ibu, over his ailment, and I urge all Reno Nogetas to donate to the account number he put out. Please do not ignore his cries for help. I also urge members of the public to donate. However, this is a man who publicly endorsed Peter Obi. He and his daughter danced for Peter Obi and broke the internet. They went out on the streets campaigning for Obi. The same Peter who boasted that he was richer than President Biden of the US, who at the time of Peter's boast was worth $8.2 million. After all that John Okafor did for him, perhaps Mr. Peter Obi can support him by paying Mr. Ibu's medical bills. I am even surprised that Peter Obi did not remember to post about Mr. Ibu on his birthday yesterday. Even at that, Peter Obi should help him in his time of need. Not stopping there, Reno Mokri shared video evidence of Peter Obi saying he is richer than the US president and asked that Obi should come out and help Mr. Ibu before it's too late. Because the president of America had just declared that it's worth $8.9 million. So why should somebody for me being in a third world country when I'm richer than that still for me? <laughs> Making another post, he said, Google it. Mr. Ibu set up a fundraiser for Peter Obi when he was healthy. Billions of Naira were raised from that fundraiser. The least Peter Obi can do is use some of the billions raised from that fundraiser to help Mr. Ibu now that he has health challenges. This is not a matter of insult from you. Obedience. First, get Peter Obi to donate. You can insult me later. Outspoken social commentator. Martin's Vincent Otse, better known as Very Dark Black Man, shortly after the actor's clip went viral, Very Dark Black Man made a video on Instagram to drag Nollywood practitioners for neglecting the Nollywood star. He said the Nigerian movie industry should be ashamed for allowing a veteran to beg for money in public. Very Dark Black Man suggests that Nollywood should have structures for veterans. 
The controversial commentator stated that the Nigerian movie industry should establish a structure for their veterans and all those who have contributed to the industry. He expressed his concern about how the country has failed most people and urged the movie industry not to add to people's suffering. Very Dark Black Man recommended that movie legends should receive pensions from the plan that Nollywood would implement. You know why I said I'm ashamed of Nollywood? It's because Nollywood is supposed to have a structure down for legends. Another thing again is that Nigeria, Nigeria don't value legends. Rather, some of them will be insulting their legend. Old glory, old glory. Do you understand? Nigeria don't value legends. This is somebody that created nice memories for us. These are the people that gave Nollywood a name. These are the people that made a lot of people like Nigerian movie. Go across Africa. Do you understand? These are the names that they know. The likes of him, the likes of Mama G, um, um, Sophia and the rest. Do you understand? These are legends that we are supposed to cherish. But Nigeria, we don't value legends. See Mr. Ibu coming out to cry. Nollywood is supposed to, they are supposed to have gotten to a point where they say they would pay all these people as legends. They are supposed to be paying them pension. Popular Nigerian actor Kanayo Okanayo also reacted to Mr. Ibu's health condition. He stated that there was nothing wrong with Mr. Ibu's family seeking help online. He also addressed Very Dark Man's statement about Nollywood not having a structure in place to help veterans. The veteran actor said Reno Omokri, Very Dark Man and others are using Mr. Ibu's case to criticize Nollywood actors. In his own words, As actors, our heart goes out to our very dear colleague, John Oka for Mr. Ibu. His family have been doing their best since it was reported last year he was sick. And now they have come out to say, we have done our best, we need public support. It's not in any sense wrong. Would you have felt, would you have felt bad or better? They kept quiet and allowed our colleague to die. Now, I condemn in strict terms Reno Omokire, who is coming to call Peter Obi's name and so on. It is not a friendly thing, it's wicked. And the other guy, I think Uche Madrago or so, who talk about top actors, shame on top actors, shame on you too. I say shame on you because you don't have any value and level to call our names. It's an individual thing to do to support a colleague. It, comes, it becomes a collective as, a, as actors need of Nigeria, who are doing their best within their limited terms. Don't forget, some people learn to give personally, privately, not their names to be mentioned. We will, as individuals, support our colleagues. We will, as a guild, support our colleagues. Even those who have given can also uh, be appreciated on the scale of what they have given to John Okafo. We compliment your efforts in giving, but nobody should use it as a platform to castigate and impugn or indict those who have not given. It is wrong and we don't support it. William Suchemba. Who built houses for the distressed Nigerians? He never indicted the federal government or for not building housing schemes for those who are distressed, those who are helpless, those who are homeless. We must learn to give. And I ask again, we may have opportunities in our lives to give to those who need help, but we must not use it to indict others who have not given. So this is a warning. If you want to give, give. We will, as individuals, and stop actors as you call us, give at our own levels. It is not very important and beneficial only when we announce it. So don't use our colleague's name, John Okafo Ibu, to trend just because you want a name. There's no mockery. If you want to command the national issues, be fair to yourself. Um, stop seeking attention. And for those of you who are seeking attention over to boost ears, it is not again a good thing to do. And I ask again, even those who have given go and ask your evil brother what means we all have opportunities to in the caption of the video he wrote gain interaction with someone's misfortune handicap ill luck is wicked give if you have to without calling for the attention of the social media one very dark man calling top actors shameless is unruly and attention seeking mr ibu Please get well soon. Taking a wipe at the very dark man for his statements, Nollywood actress Anita Joseph said, 
You know the problem with you is that you don't know the right time to talk. We know you want to make a name for yourself, but be taking it easy. Use this fame you've gotten to do something good for yourself. Because Nigerians will soon get tired of you. Someone will soon come out with something new and you will fizzle out. Shalom. Nosa Rex also advised Very Dark Man after he criticized Nollywood. He told him not to talk about things he didn't understand. That Nigeria doesn't have structure as a nation, talk less of Nollywood, saying Nollywood is barely standing and running itself. My do broad guy. A good way will they talk for Mata. But Mata where we know no understand. It is better to just lock up. Nigeria never gets structure. Now Nollywood won't get structure. Baba man with a show love. If you reason this matter, it go too long. If you know how Nollywood they run in safe, you know go do this video. Select topic to the talk about. Who won't pay you pension? Are you playing? Avoid this matter so you will learn. Kate Henshaw, a Nollywood veteran and the director of communication at Actors Guild of Nigeria, came forward to speak on behalf of the AGN. In a video shared on her page, she clarified that the guild did not abandon Mr. Ibu, who is also a member of the AGN. Henshaw emphasized that the guild is committed to supporting its members in times of need, especially regarding health concerns. The statement in part read, We are compelled to make this public statement in reaction to the vituperations of some netizens over the health of one of our respected and esteemed members, John Okafo, popularly known as Mr. Ibu. We are not here to join issues with anybody, but we want to set the record straight over the public outcry that the Guild and his colleagues have abandoned him at his point of need. Good afternoon everyone, my name is Kate Henshaw, I am the Director of Communications for the Actors Guild of Nigeria. We are compelled to make this public statement in reaction to the vituperations of some netizens over the health of one of our respected and esteemed members, Mr. John Okafo, popularly known as Mr. Ibo. We are not here, however, to join issues with anybody, but we want to set the record straight over the public outcry that the Guild and his colleagues have abandoned him at his point of need. The Guild has never abandoned any of its members in need, especially with health interventions. We have been in the forefront of providing necessary support to Mr. Ibu even before his health condition was ever made public. And this has been done with the full knowledge of his immediate family members. We have had to task members privately to help in providing assistance towards the intervention. We do not make public any form of assistance provided for our members in need. It is not our modus operandi. Ordinarily, we wouldn't have blinked an eye over this Mr. Ibu issue, but it has become imperative to make some clarifications as the integrity and welfare package of the Guild is at stake. One of the major focal areas under the welfare package of this present administration is the health care of its members. The National President, AJZ Emeka Rollins, secured an affordable retail health management organization, HMO, with over 600 hospitals across the country to enable members access qualitative medication and health care at 1,600 Naira per month or 22,200 per annum. The Guild also went into partnership with Ruzu Holistic Healthcare Company for free alternative medical treatment for members with ailments that defy orthodox medication. The president went further to launch the trust fund where funds were raised to support the sick and incapacitated members as well as families of the bereaved under the supervision of Ms. Choke Silva. Our esteemed members magnanimously donated to the trust fund and the committee judiciously disbursed the funds to provide urgent intervention to the sick and bereaved families. As a guild, AGN has been very proactive in creating welfare packages for our members, especially in this challenging time of economic hardship. In response to Ketensho's statement, Mr. Ibu's wife expressed a disappointment with the Actors Guild of Nigeria, AGN, for not supporting her husband for a long time. She stated that the AGN only contacted them after they posted a video of Mr. Ibu in a hospital bed. According to her, the AGN lied about their support for Mr. Ibu. Many Nigerians 
I am not happy at all. I am not happy at all. Look at the situation of things now. Look at my husband is lying down on the sick bed. And these people, AGA, came here to come and be talking what they did not do. How can they come online and be saying that they are supporting the, my husband since, uh, from the beginning? Why would they come now to say they are supporting him? When they are not, they have not done anything. I can't see them. I myself, I contacted uh, my Emeka uh, rulers. I, I, I sent him a message which he read and did not say, reply it. The message is still there. I called, the, I called him, he did not answer my call. I sent him a message, he, did, he read it and did not reply me. So why now? Why would they come now to come and be blabbing, to come and be talking what they did not say, what they did not do? What kind of a thing is this? I am not happy. I've been suffering since. Been in the hospital for long, taking care of my husband, and now they are coming now to come and be talking what they, they did not do. It was saying what they did not do. This is totally unfair. It's not good. My fellow Nigerian, this people should put uh, look into this. It's, it's it's unfair, it's unfair. This man is lying directly in, in this uh, end. I see you now. He's still there. And she came there. I was surprised to see that uh, to see her today. Since my husband has been in the hospital, I have not seen any any of them. You understand? It was uh, the other day that Emeka and the um, um uh, Victor Swamus. Yes, yeah, yesterday they came to see my husband, and today Kedesha came. I, I, I thought that she uh, maybe she came for good. I don't know that she has come here to come and and and, and rubbish my, my husband's name. And, you know, it, this is unfair. It's unfair. I am not happy. My father Nigeria, please, 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 look into this thing. It's not fair. In a subsequent post, it ensure captioned, "This will be the last statement on this issue." She explained what happened with Mr. Ibu's family and reassured their members of their continued support to the best of their ability. The actor also advised them to take advantage of the programs and schemes put in place for their welfare. Good morning. My attention has been drawn to a video circulating on social media as of last night regarding the video that uh, Mr. Ibu's wife made. Let me state here categorically that this will be the last statement I will make on this issue. The crux of the matter is that someone is ill, asking for help, and the focus is for him to get better. As of 2022-2021, when issues arose concerning his health, I was not a public relations officer for the Actors Guild. Let me state categorically and again vehemently that AGN has been of help to Mr. Ibu. As an association and as esteemed members of the guild, I'm not talking of those who are not affiliated with the guild who have also made contributions as of two years ago. The reason I went there, one, was because of the person involved who I respect and who was instrumental to moving him from the other hospital where he was, not receiving adequate care, to the present hospital whose location I cannot mention. I went there, I was given access into the room, another actor was there, medical personnel were there, his wife was there. My first words to him, and I quote, what have you done to yourself? In his usual jovial manner, he smirked, he smiled. He was in a bit of pain, but he was jovial. Food was brought in. He asked for food. His wife proceeded to feed him. I do not want to go into details of the conversations that we had about the circumstances leading to him being in this critical situation. I know what she said to me. I'm not one to bandy words. I do appreciate the fact that she is at her wit's end because of the situation anybody would be. But to say that AGN lied is not true. The theatrics was a bit much, but it's okay. I'm not angry. We are not angry, but I state again categorically that AGN has been of help to Mr. Ibu in the past. Members of the guild have been, and I'm not talking about those who are also outside of the guild, 
because it's freedom of association. I also want to ask Jasmine, his daughter, to please reveal the contents of the message and the voice note she sent to the president, Mr. Emeka Rulas AJZ, on the 9th of June. 2022 the voice note and the message she sent to him profusely thanking him for stepping in for the family at their time of need agn is not a charitable organization it is not a bank it is not a hospital we are not compelled to reveal the inner workings of our guild and our association to members of the public. It is a private association. The best the guild can do is to make sure that members have access to critical information, access to things that will aid their welfare, like the health insurance scheme know about events and activities that will benefit the members, make sure that working conditions are good. We are not, and I am not, a court jester to display on social media. Several Nigerian celebrities have appealed for help, including Mr. P of P-Square, who posted a photo of the actor with the caption, Our very own Mr. Ibu John Okafor needs our help as he goes through a medical challenge. Our Nollywood legends deserve better. It's time for the people to show him love for bringing joy to the screens all these years. I am pledging my support for him 100%. My dear colleagues, friends, family and fans, please support him in any little way you can. He needs our prayers and financial support in this challenging time. Praying for his speedy recovery. May God heal you permanently, our dear. Sadly, Nigerians came for the singer in the comment section. Some say that he can handle the bill alone. One user wrote, You can handle it alone? Why post it? Transfer the money to him. Simply. Another wrote, You want the poor masses to support. How much did you send first? Nano get him. Alright, so update on Mr. Ibu's illness. The truth is, the condition is not getting any better it's becoming worse and worse and worse now the reason why his legs were decaying uh the leg they rotting the reason why the leg be the rotting are because blood you know they come down to the leg do you understand instead of the blood to come down to the leg the blood freezes do you understand blood clots in the tree they turn to stone do you understand? Now they did um, an operation for him, which I was talking about. I saw it, like they pull out some blood clots, uh, blood that clotted. I don't know if I did the right English, but then blood that have clotted, yeah, because blood only passed through the whole side of the body. Now, when they did that operation, everything was now going smoothly. Do you understand? But not until yesterday. Yesterday, the thing became double worse. So today, as we speak, they will have to rush him to the hospital. They will have to rush him for um, a surgery. They have to do a surgery for him. And this time, it's not one surgery, not two surgery. Do you understand? Now, the money people have been sending so far have been reasonable. A lot of people have tried. A lot of people have been sending good money for donation. Do you understand? This money will go far. However, here's a little challenge right now. The best option for Mr. Ebu now to survive now if they carry and go outside country. Do you understand? Because they have more facilities and then some other kind of, kind of thing like that. Heartbreaking, right? What do you think about the controversy about Mr. Ebu's health? Who would you say is telling the truth? Do you expect more action and less drama over Mr. Ebu's health issue? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched African stories and news we know you'd like. Click on the bell sign to be notified every time you upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.